Hello, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll be going over polynomial and behavior. And just a, a quick review. When we're looking at end behavior, we're looking at what happens at the end of graphs. So what we're going to do is we're going to summarize um, and generalize what happens at the end of graphs for polynomials. So let's take a look at, at four different polynomials, and we can pretty much um, generalize it just from these. If you're in my class and you've um, started to see the connection between what we're going to do here in this video and how we're going to summarize and generalize this and to what we were doing in the past few days. So I have x cubed here, negative x cubed here, and x squared and negative x squared. Notice that for the x cubed graph, the end behavior is positive infinity. And as I go to negative as x goes to negative infinity y goes to negative infinity but when I reflect it around the x-axis with this negative in front this is gonna go to positive infinity as a, as x goes to negative infinity and as x goes to positive infinity y is gonna go to negative infinity so if we were looking at this as step-by-step -step graphing we start here and then we reflected it. Reflecting it is going to change the, the end behaviors to quite their opposite. Notice here also that for a cubic, for the odd power, um, we have different end behaviors. One goes up, the other goes down. One goes up, the other goes down. Whereas for the square or the even, they both go the same direction. So here, our end behavior is positive infinity, positive infinity. The negative, however, does change it to its opposites, negative infinity, negative infinity. So this is actually not going to be too difficult to remember. Um, you just got to remember that these original ones and know that if you have a negative, it's going to change and totally flip your, your, uh, in, your end behaviors. So let's take a look at some summarize this so in summary if the degree is even then we're gonna look at the leading coefficient okay so the leading coefficient in this case we had one and negative one so we're looking to see if those are positive or negative if it's positive then we're gonna go up and up if it's negative we're gonna go down and down if the degree is odd, again the degree that being the highest power of the of the the highest power in your polynomial. If the degree is odd, then your positive coef if you have a positive leading coefficient, then you're going to go down and then up. So left to right, it's going to be down here and up this way. Negative leading coefficient, you're going to do the complete opposite. Sometimes I know students in the past have memorized these from looking at their limits. Notice here that the limit is negative infinity. This is negative infinity. The limit here is positive infinity. This is positive infinity. And then there are the opposites on this one. Okay? All right, so let's look at a few examples. So here's some examples. We're just going to go run through these and find the end behavior. And then that's it, guys. So let's take a look here. 3x to the fifth. So the first thing we look at is the degree. The degree is 5, so this is an odd degree. So if we go back here, we're looking at an odd degree. And our coefficient is positive 3. So we're looking at odd degree, positive coefficient. These are my end behavior. That's it. So we're going to write down the limit as x approaches negative infinity is negative infinity. And the limit as x approaches positive infinity is positive infinity. All right, let's look at the next one. Two, negative 2x two to the fourth, which we're going to check all these. So we're having uh, x to the fourth, which is a even degree. And our leading coefficient is negative 2. So negative leading coefficient, these are going to be our end behavior. All right, so our leading coefficient, so we're going to put limit as x approaches negative infinity is negative infinity, and the limit 
as x approaches pos infinity, pos inf negative infinity, they go both the same way. Now, if you're in my class, you'll see us do our um, little polynomial disco. Uh, if I didn't show it to you in our class today, you'll see it tomorrow. Um, but we're gonna be doing these and just kind of give your body a chance to kind of memorize these and, and look at the, what the graphs look like. Um, x cubed is our highest degree, so we're gonna go ahead and say the limit as x approaches. Now you can go back and look at your notes at this point. I'm just gonna go right down these, um, these last four. So f of x equals, um, the limit as x approaches negative infinity is gonna be negative infinity. And the limit as x approaches positive infinity is going to be positive infinity, similar to number one. Okay, next one. And again, I, I encourage you to try these out and just to, to kind of really quickly quiz yourself to see if you you got you got the rules down. So this is an odd. Uh oh, wait a minute. There's the degree. I just didn't arrange it correctly. So our degree is six, and our coefficient leading is negative four. So that's going to give me negative infinity. We don't want to fall into that trap, right? We want to make sure that we have the right the right degree. Okay, let's look at the next one. We have a cube, so it looks just like number three. Limit as x approaches negative infinity. It's gonna be negative infinity. And the limit as x approaches positive infinity is going to be positive infinity. The last one here. Um, what is this degree? Well, its degree is one, okay? So it is an odd degree with a negative leading coefficient. So an odd degree with a negative leading coefficient, these guys here are gonna be opposite. And that's pretty much it, guys. So you just follow those rules. Think about what those graphs look like, and you can get the end behavior of any polynomial. Okay, thanks for joining me. Bye.